Hello and welcome to this short uh, presentation. My name is David Filippo and uh, I will tell you about my paper Constrained Differential Equations as Complex Sum Generators. And this is a rather practical uh, work that I did and it's uh, based on um, uh, classical differential equations that show chaotic behaviors. And I have uh, applied a criteria to some of these equations to uh, obtain um, compelling what, com what for me was uh, were compelling sound generators and uh, if we think of chaos in music we have several examples two of the most important are probably uh, Agostino Di Scipio's work on um, iterative maps mostly using the sign map when he did his work in late 90s and uh, some of his work uh, were based on modeling uh, environmental sounds through uh, chaotic equations. And then we have uh, later Tom Mudd, who worked uh, a lot with the Chuovsky later. And the interesting thing that Tom did was to uh, couple the Chuovsky laters and uh, with uh, uh, a bank of uh, filters to model uh, instruments. So we had the chaotic behavior being generated and at the same time being shaped by the uh, by this um, frequency response given, given by the filter bank and it created some compelling sounds which resembled the instruments while also having uh, a life on their own and it was a very nice uh, work for me to see. And there were also there are also many other people who are actually working with uh, chaotic systems, maybe not explicitly, but uh, any kind of work that implies feedback and linearities can be um, can result in the generation of chaotic behaviors uh, as that's the main uh, requirement that we can uh, uh, need for it. And some of these things are discussed in my uh, article from 2013 that I wrote with Andrea uh, Valle and it shows some of the, um, some of the main works um, using feedback uh, approaches for this, uh, for their music. So the main idea behind this work is to uh, use um, a, a unit that constrains these differential equations. So in the discretized models of these differential equations, one of the problems that we have, for example, is the stability, because you, we have a limited set of uh, parameters, range, uh, ranges that we can uh, explore due to stability. And um, what I did was to uh, very easily and very simple idea was uh, um, uh, to put together um, um, in a series both a saturating unit and a DC blocker, which we can think of it as a desaturator, basically. So if we think of this, we have a structural stability given by the saturators. And at the same time, if the system were to actually saturate, we had what what's a fi fixed point. Uh, in the system, and this will be um, counterbalanced uh, through the action of the DC blockers. So we have um, a low level positive and negative feedback that forces oscillations and um, enhances dynamical behaviors. And what I found interesting was also that uh, uh, these, these saturators, we, I'm, I mean, some of my examples are uh, based on the um, hyperbolic tangent function, but there's a number of saturators that uh, I have deployed and all of them have different characteristics and um, since it's possible to change the saturating thresholds of these units um, it was nice to use the saturating threshold and the DC blocker cutoff which I implemented as a first um, first order one pole one zero uh, high pass filter. The uh, cutoff of the filter is actually used as a high level uh, formal development uh, parameter because I use a cutoff that is between 20 Hz and below. So it's basically a reaction time for the uh, DC blocker to actually bring the system back when it saturates. And it's uh, all the things that happen in between from being, bringing the system, from the system being saturated to being brought back to, um, uh, so to speak, normal behavior is, uh, there's a lot that happens and out of dynamic, dynamical behaviors uh, emerge. And this was the main um, uh, study that I did, and it's um, rather empir empirical and uh, practical, of course, uh, but which resulted in some, some, some systems that I consider compelling from the musical perspective. And for the discrete models, I used uh, first order Euler's um, approximation for the discretization of the models, and these are the systems that I worked with. 
And actually in the paper is not mentioned because Tom did, a, uh, did already a lot of work on the Chuo oscillators, but uh, there's a Chuo oscillator, a digital version, a discretized model uh, implemented in, on my GitHub, as well as all of these other models. And so what we have is the um, classical equations. These are classical uh, uh, differential equations that we use for different uh, um, purposes, but all of them uh, showed chaotic behaviors. And so we have the, discre the discretization of these models and within the feedback loops, we also have the um, DC blockers and the um, uh, hyperbolic tangent to create this mechanism that I discussed earlier. And the audio examples are available here if you want. And here you have, we have the Faust code that you can perhaps paste on the um, Faust IDE on the web. And you can generate uh, either standalone applications or maybe uh, externals for PT or um, Super Collider. It's, uh, it's, it's readily available. So this could be useful for some of, some, to some of you. And these are some of the plots that I did for the systems. Um, yeah, um, the waveforms are really uh, beautifully looking and the uh, face space shows some kind of complexity, of course. It is not really possible to tell much from a, a face space of, uh, of the amplitude uh, plots, but uh, still we, we can get an idea of how much uh, periodicity or uh, unpredictability we can get um, from a rough perspective at least. Um, and this is a 3D plot instead. But the um, future uh, approach for this kind of work, at least for the analysis, will be to um, uh, actually plot the um, um, uh, the low-level low features such as loudness, brightness, and noisiness. And it will be nice to see a 3D plot like this uh, where we uh, plot such features and it might give a, a better understanding of how complex the system might behave. And of course, I will try to uh, work uh, with uh, higher order discretizations, and I will also try to implement anti alias nonlinearities for a better uh, approximation of the models. And, um, and a more analytical approach will be also to do a comparison between the original uh, discretized models and the modified ones. And one, one approach could be to use the uh, Lyapunov exponent to see um, how much the sensitivity to initial condition changes and uh, see if the uh, approach that I uh, proposed is actually um, um, advantageous for, um, for the musical case. And one thing that is extremely important in what I did is, uh, is that virtually you can use basically any kind of parameters for the system since they are structurally uh, stable and there will always be uh, oscillations. So they are um, complex os oscillators that you can manipulate in any way you want essentially and that was the, the good thing. And I, from a practical um, uh, perspective, I can I can say that a lot of uh, complexity emerged from the um, uh, from what I did. And you can see that the the audio examples are uh, recorded, and there's no uh, human intervention. So what you hear is the system without adaptation. It's just triggered by um, some impulse, some initial condition, and what you see is just the development of the system on its own, completely unsupervised. Thank you.